Welcome back everybody. Now I've gotten requests over the years to do gift idea videos, but I've never really done it, but this year I'm doing it. Today I'm going through the nearly 600 products I reviewed over the years, spanning 400 videos to find some gift ideas for you if you're still out there shopping. That's today's video. A couple quick notes before I get started. I wanted to point out that because these are all items I've reviewed on my channel, with a few exceptions, I actually threw a few non-reviewed things in there. But overall, these are mostly things I reviewed, so it may or may not be the most well-rounded group of items out there. I did try to make it as varied as I possibly could. Also, with a few exceptions, I try to stay away from the more expensive items, like big appliances. That's not really the kind of thing that you do last minute. But I have a couple of more expensive ones in there as well. And finally, I'm going to go kind of fast because I have a lot to cover, but I'll have a link to a written article below, which will have information on all these products that I've discussed in this video. So let's see what we got right over here. That's right, I got two Santa bags full of stuff. How about bag number one? Ugh. It was a bit of a task going through 600 items to find these out. I was gonna do categories, but I said, nah, it'd be more fun to just pull out there and see what comes out. But I do have a reason for each one of these being on this list and I'll hopefully let you know. Here we go, I'm just gonna grab something out. And the first thing, and that is the shirt folding board. If you know someone that folds a lot of clothes, this surprisingly works well. Some people out there hang their clothes, it wouldn't be for them, but those who fold their clothes in bulk, this is a great suggestion. Let's see what we got here. What is that? Oh, okay. This is a staple free stapler. This would be a good idea if you know someone who works in an office who were, maybe is a teacher who doesn't want to go through a bunch of staples because removing staples can be a, kind of a pain. This is a good, more of a temporary solution for stapling. I actually use it quite often. This would certainly count as a gift that a lot of people don't have. And all right, here is something that's one of the rare items I didn't actually review in my videos. This was actually given to me as a gift. I thought it was a great gift idea. This is a magnetic notebook. I've actually taken most of the pages out that I've written on. But what's special about this is the pages can come right out. And this is a this black is a magnetic strip. So you can actually take the pages out, you can rearrange them. I even sometimes take it out, write on it, and then stick it back in there. Something like students, people that work in offices, this would be quite useful. Let's see what we got next. It's another interesting. Oh, okay. This is the Zip It package opener. If you have someone who struggles with packages, someone with strength problems, the Zip It package opener will sail through packages quite easily. Let's see what we got. What is that? Oh. Some of these things feel different when you reach in and grab them blindly through a, a, in a bag. This is the socket shelf. This is good for people that like to stay organized, people that have a lot of devices plugged into the wall. I found the shelf actually unusually useful. Okay, here's something that I ha didn't actually review, but it's been in several of my videos. This is a power bank. This is 25,000 milliamp hours. There are a lot of power banks out there, but a power bank is a good gift for people out there that are always having a dead phone. They have larger ones like this that can charge multiple phones. They have a smaller one, like one I think called the iWalk, which can also charge a phone that plugs right into it. There's a lot of phone chargers out there. It's certainly a good gift idea for people that are always on their phones, which is about everybody. Oh, I, know what, I know what this is. Here we go. This is another one that I haven't, didn't technically review, but it's been a lot of my videos, and that is this Bluetooth keyboard, which I use multiple times a day. You can actually sync it with three different devices. I've got my PlayStation, one phone and a tablet all right here. Full-size keyboard, you can type fast. I take it on vacation with me when I don't want to take my laptop. It's just a great all-around gift. I recommend it all the time. Let's see what we got. What is that? Oh, okay. I can get it out of there. This rather unassuming looking disc is a retractable stool. Many uses for this can be used outdoors or indoors. I've actually used it for both. They're not terribly expensive, and it's probably something that whoever you're giving it to hasn't, hasn't seen before. Let's see what we get. What's that? Oh, the coldest water bottle is actually a really good water bottle. It, it, the insulation is top notch. So if you know anybody who runs a lot, goes to the gym, who's hiking, something like this is maybe something they haven't got before, which is a really high quality insulated bottle. Oh, I get this big one in here. I don't know what that is. All right, this is the pillow pad. The only problem with the pillow pad is that I tore it when I put the, uh, the case back on, which I don't recommend uh, taking the case off. 
Other than that, I use it all the time for, if you know someone who's always propped up in their bed on their phone or on the tablet with a book, it's actually quite useful. I've actually grown to like it quite a bit. I've actually heard from quite a few people out there that use it. It's actually not a bad gift. Now, as far as the pillow pad goes, I wanted two quick suggestions that I don't have here. One is if you know someone who's really tall, I would suggest taking a look at the big blanket. That's one I reviewed a while back. I actually gave to my trainer who's six foot seven because he was complaining he couldn't find a blanket to fit. He loves it. If you know a really tall person, the big blanket is something you might want to consider. It's a hundred square foot blanket. It's huge. Another blanket to suggest is the blank wheel or another weighted blanket of that type. My daughter's been using that for a long time. She loves it. There's a lot of uses for it, some kind of therapeutic. It's also quite warm. So if you want to weight a blanket or something, you might want to consider for a more expensive gift out there. Oh, here we go. This was my product of the year in 2017. If you know anybody that has reading glasses, the thin optics are a great gift. I think there's these, these are still about 20 bucks. They go on the back of your phone. Uh, it's, it, it's convenient for people that are always losing their reading glasses, and which is quite a few people, myself included. Um, it's something I still use three years later, so thin optics, great gift. Last one of that bag. These are the wall climbing cars. <laughs> These are actually kind of a cool gift for kids. It's something a lot of kids have never seen before. It actually sticks to the wall and you can drive it up and down. It's a little bit loud, but it's something that I think a lot of parents and kids can have fun with together. Speaking of cars, before I get to bag two, let me get, take a couple of pit stops. First up being a few car gift ideas out in the car. Quick intermission with a few ideas for people to spend a lot of time in their cars. Let's start off with a couple stocking stuffers like something like these water activated towels. This is the pack and wipe. I don't think it's around anymore, but there are similar ones out there I'll link. This is something I actually keep in my glove box and I've actually found quite useful. There's soap sheets. I actually ran out of mine, but they're called Coleman soap sheets. I'll show you what they look like right there. That's also been something that has been in my glove box. I have to buy more because they were so useful. They're under $10, good stocking stuffer. Another stocking stuffer would be something like the tack pen or another tactical pen. There's a lot of different ones out there. It has a variety of tools in there, a screwdriver, bottle opener, flashlight. Now it doesn't, it doesn't outperform the real thing, but something compact that can fit in the glove box. When, you, when you're in a pinch, it actually comes in quite handy. Now, as far as the people that are eating fast food in their cars, there's some gifts for them too. Something like the Sasamoto dip clip. This actually clips on your vent and you can put your ketchup in there. I had a couple others. There was a burger holder or a french fry holder, which I, I can't find those actually, but those are actually, they're kind of novelty gag gifts, but slightly useful at the same time. And they're certainly gifts a lot of people have never seen before. For the person who's always complaining about the car being messy, Something like the drive bin, which is a trash can tailor-made for the car, is actually a good gift idea. One of the few expensive items on the list is actually a dash cam. This is the Van True. There's a lot of good ones out there. Garmin has uh, some good dash cams as well. It's a good idea for people that spend a lot of time on the road, a little bit of peace of mind. Uh, it's more expensive, but actually it's quite useful. How about this car tray? It fits on the steering wheel. I actually had to pull this out of my son's car because he uses it so much. When he's at work and he goes to a fast food place, he actually uses the, the steering wheel tray to eat his lunch. If you know someone who eats often in their car, that's actually a pretty good gift. Now, if the gift is for someone who actually spends a lot of time in the back seat of the car, this tray actually works quite well too. In fact, this is something that's gotten more use than I expected it ever did. Now, speaking of food, before I wrap up this car intermission, if you know someone who likes popcorn, especially the people that dig in the bottom of the bowl for those half-popped kernels, which is something that I do, there is a company out there that sells those. It's called Half Pops. I actually tried them in a bonus content earlier this year. I really liked them. I've already given those as a gift, so I'll link those as well. Half Pops is a great gift idea for the popcorn kernel lovers. One of the most common questions that I get asked are, what do you do with all those products you review? Most of them end up here, which is the boneyard, which maybe today would be called the gift yard, but this is the final resting place of all the products that I review that I don't really use that often. I decorated this year for the holidays. It looks pretty nice. Anyways, let's head back inside for one more pit stop before we get to bag two. All right, a couple of kitchen gift ideas before I get to bag number two. These are a couple of strange gadgets by Dream Farm. This is the Sapoon. This is the Sizza. We've got a lot of interesting gadgets, all of them not like the typical utensils you've seen before. If you know someone who has everything and they like to cook, that might be something to consider as one of those interesting dream farm gadgets for them. If you have someone who might be a student in a dorm or someone in an RV who doesn't have a full stove to cook on, I suggest the RangeMate Pro. This will allow you to literally grill food in your microwave. Something I've been using for almost three years now. Might be a little bit on the pricey side, but it's something that it will be used so much it might justify the cost. The next one may or may not be a good idea depending on who you're giving it to, but I suggest Waka Instant Coffee if you haven't tried it before. 
I was never a fan of instant coffee until I tried this. Now I actually use it all the time. If you know coffee drinkers that don't always have access to a Keurig or a coffee pot, this is actually a pretty good suggestion. I've had a lot of people try it, were surprised at how good it was. For my last kitchen suggestion, let's go to the cabinets. This is the Easy Off, which is a jar opener that goes underneath the cabinet and it makes jar opening quite easy. If you know someone who struggles with jars, great choice. Ugh. Bag number two. Before I get to bag number two, I wanted to show you four items that I'm wearing that are good gift ideas. Number one, on my shoes. Sorry to have an old dirty shoe on the screen, but this is, these are lock laces. This would be a good stocking stuffer if you know anybody that has a pair of shoes with the laces that are looking kind of dingy. Watch out for Bailey's hair in there. Lock laces are great replacement for shoelaces. Good stocking stuffer, about eight bucks, very small, good gift. Next up on my person here, on my keys here, got the Aurora A3 flashlight. Now, there's a lot of tiny flashlights out there. In fact, I did an entire video on them. But a keychain flashlight is something that's quite useful to a lot of people. It doesn't take up a lot of room. Everyone has their keys on them. So it's something to consider for a stocking stuff or gift. Next up, a ratchet belt. If you know anybody that wears a belt, has not switched over to ratchet belts yet, I highly recommend giving it a shot, giving them a belt like this. This is the Trackline belt. There's also the Comfort Click belt, Slide belt, other brands out there. The track line is my favorite of the bunch, although they're all pretty good. Once you go to a ratchet th style belt, you don't really want to go back. It's a great gift. And next up, it is the Allet or Allet, however it's pronounced, but it's a great wallet. It holds two rows of cards, so it's a much flatter profile than a typical wallet. I think uh, most people who get this will quite enjoy it. All right, so let's get back to bag number two. All right, here we go. All right. If you have a friend or family member who's a pet owner, Something like this interactive pet laser toy is a good choice as well. Cats and dogs seem to like this, although that's, you never know with pets, but a pet owner will always appreciate a gift for their pet as well, I think. Next up, oh, there's something small. All right, this is one I have not reviewed, but it's actually a quite a useful gadget. It has a little blade on there that's not real sharp. I mean, it doesn't, you know, I'm not even hurting myself. You can use this to cut packaging, to cut wrapping paper. It can go on your keychain. I've actually found this increasingly useful as I start to use it. So it's not expensive. It's under 10 bucks. Good stocking stuffer. Right, what's next? I'm trying to look. Ah, and this box is a flame bulb. There's multiple flame bulbs out there. They're all actually pretty neat. This is the gift for someone that has everything and doesn't want anything. So it looks like I'm sitting next to a nice warm fire, but actually I'm sitting next to a lamp with a LED flame bulb. I did a review of multiple flame bulbs. I liked all of them actually. It's an interesting gift and possibly a good choice for the person who has everything that's tough to buy for. All right, what's next here? Oh yeah, one of my perennial favorites here. This is the Bell & Howe light bar. It's just a big bar of light. That's all it is. But I found so many uses for this. Oddly, they don't, I don't know if they sell this anymore, but there's a bunch of products just like this on Amazon. I'll get, in the link below, I'll have some alternatives as well in case you can't find this one, but I've always liked this one. It can be used inside, outside, in the garage. There's a lot of uses for it. I still use it regularly. This is the hyper whistle, which is supposed to be the world's loudest whistle. Now there are uses for this. Someone that goes hiking, people that go jogging alone uh, for security, people that are in sports. It's a very loud whistle. This would be a good white elephant gift or a good stocking stuffer. Oh, here we go. Great product here. This is the Philips One Blade. This is a trimmer. Every person I know that have bought, has bought this likes it. It's a great trimmer, holds up over time, about 35 bucks, and I think the head here lasted me a couple years. So this is certainly a good gift idea. Some of, that. Some of the stuff I forgot what's even in there. Oh yeah, this is something I, I did not review. It looks like a looks like a background of a set from a Sunny and Cher episode from the 70s, but no, these are actually cord labels. I brought an example over here. Oh yeah, this is not a great example because I didn't do it perfectly, but this is the smallest cable I have, so I put it on here. You, uh, you basically write on them, so you keep your cords straight. And someone like me, I have so many cords laying around, not just the products I review, but just products I use around the house. Having a, a bunch of these cord labels has been a lifesaver. They're not expensive and it's very useful. Let me see, what's this? Ah, a can of Spam. No, this is actually a safe. This and something like the like the peanut butter jar, which is also a safe. These are kind of almost novelty gifts, kind of gag gifts, but possibly useful depending on the person you're giving it to. I also did a hairbrush, a clock, and also shaving cream. 
Uh, something like a secret safe is, is kind of a fun gift, and some people might actually find it useful. What is that? Ah, yes. I did this review in Puerto Rico. This is the Magic Pad. I haven't done a lot of kids' products, but this was one that I actually had fun with. In the time since I posted my review of that about two years ago, I've heard from a lot of people, and a lot of kids do seem to like the Magic Pad. It's something I would consider if you're looking for a gift idea. Let's see what's in here. Ah, yes, another one that made a brief appearance in one of my videos. This is a back scratcher, and this is kind of a joke idea also. But on the other hand, it's not so much of a joke when you got an itch. Definite stocking stuffer. These are very cheap. Whoever you give it to will get a kick out of it, and then they'll actually use it. Another one for pet owners. If you have a pet owner friend who walks her dog a lot, this is a dog water bottle called the Aqua Dog. There's other ones like it as well. For your friend who's a pet owner that takes their dogs on walks to dog parks, it's quite useful to have a dog-designed water bottle just for them. Let me see. Oh, I know what this is. This looks like a nondescript bag, but we all have our, those friends out there that are just chomping at the bit to travel again in 2021. I'm going to be one of them. And for those friends of yours who travel, who like to travel, do not have these, I would suggest taking a look at some packing cubes. The packing cubes allows you to compartmentalize, organize your, your belongings in your suitcase. It's actually quite useful for those who travel. If you have a friend who travels, can't think of something to get for them, this is a good gift. All right, I had mentioned the Bell & Howe light bar earlier. This is the atomic beam headlamp. Pretty cool, huh? This is one, I don't know if this specific brand is still being sold. There's a lot of headlamps out there, but someone who works out in the garage, works on cars, especially at night, I, I use it all the time. It's so much more convenient to have the light follow your head around than have to hold it. A headlamp is a great gift idea. Here's one of the most requested products that I've ever shown in a video, which is that, believe it or not. That's called the Red Shield phone stand. It's been in my wallet ever since I reviewed it. I use it quite often. It actually folds out into a stand. I'll show you a picture of it over here, what it looks like. Not expensive, convenient, compact, great stocking stuffer, the Red Shield phone stand. Getting down to the bottom here. All right, I've gone caseless with my phones recently. I know that makes some people cringe. But when I did use a case, I used this one, which is my dream. So not only can you store some stuff over here, you also have your case, but this part comes off. So you can take that separately as well. It also closes to protect the front of your phone. I think this is a well-done phone case slash wallet. If you have someone with kind of an old junky phone case, this might be a suggestion for them. Not much left in here. Let me see what's in there. Ah, oh, here we go. From earlier this year, lighted slap bands. These would be useful for kids who are maybe playing in the neighborhood, people that walk their dogs. You can put it on your dog, actually. There's a lot of uses for it to stay lit. They're kind of fun. They're not expensive. Lighted slap bands, not a bad gift. I got a couple small things in here left. This is the Fly Nova. Now, they have a new one, the Fly Nova Pro. I haven't even opened this up yet. It's basically like a motorized fidget spinner that you can fly back and forth to yourself. I had a lot of fun with this one. Uh, not terribly expensive, uh, kind of a fun toy. All right, here we go. Uh, these are groove rings. I'm thinking of a very specific situation on these groove rings. Someone like uh, an electrician or someone who works on computers, they don't want to wear their wedding ring, but they do want to have a ring on. This is a good replacement for that. Some people don't want to wear their expensive rings on a regular basis, so they have these instead. They actually serve a lot of function. I think it's kind of, some people like them, some people don't, but it's certainly an interesting gift idea. All right, here's the Jot. Interesting little device that you can use to hang things, organize cords. I actually use it for my toothbrush in the bathroom. It's so small and strange looking. I think a lot of people would actually enjoy a gift like this because there's so many different uses for it. Nothing else in there. And finally, this is not a gift I reviewed. This is something I use every day because I do have something called Renault's, which basically means cold hands. These are fingerless compression gloves. They're not just compression gloves. They're not just fingerless. They're fingerless compression gloves. If you know anybody that suffers from cold hands, but they also don't want to wear gloves because they have to type or they have to be on their phone, this is a great choice. It's been a lifesaver for me. Well, that's it. I hope I gave you a few ideas from all this. Now I got to put all this back in the boneyard now. That's going to be fun. So I just want to say everybody, happy holidays. Wishing you a great 2021, and I'll see you next time.